Hi ladies, this is little Rhonda Lee again, and today I want to share my first toilet paper mini album. Um, I got the tutorial from um, Ginger, from, she's my sister scrapper on YouTube, and it is also using the uh, Laura Dennison um, binding technique. So anyhow, here we go. Um, I made this using the heirloom um, stack from Die, Die Cuts with a View, which is a really good stack. It has a lot of good basic things. This is, uh, here it is right here. It's a really good one. It has a lot of things to cut out. You can fussy cut and a lot of, you know, basic things. It has 180 sheets. So it's really useful. I use it a lot. Okay, so here we go. Um, I got this uh, little thing here from my stash, and I had that already. And this is some lace that I had, and then this trim here, I cut out some um, black cardstock with my Martha Stewart on the edge paper punch. And then I added some ribbon and seam binding here. So that's the front. And then here's the back. I made some charms, different charms, um, you know, lots of hearts and a little clock piece. So I made a magnet closure. And here's the inside. Still, I it's mostly using all the um, heirloom stack. And I made my own tags. And stamped on the back side for journaling or pictures. Anyway, I'm going to turn it sideways because it's easier that way to show you it. So here's the first page. There's a frame here. You can put a picture there. And um, these are Michael's flowers and bling that I got at Michael's also. These I cut out from the stack and stamped on the other side. And then here's the second page. Same thing, flowers from Michael's and uh, fussy cuts I did from uh, the heirloom stack. And some stamps there. Uh, this page, I really like the way this one turned out. Did some fussy cutting there. And that opens to put some photos or journaling. And the tag. And I put some stamps back there. And here's the next page. Again, I cut these out of the heirloom stack. Place for a picture. And this page. You can journal on the back. And put a photo or journaling there. And this is a tag for that one. And some stamping there. So this page, I used the Michael's flowers again, and I went over it with, I don't know what I went over it with. <laughs> I don't remember. Something metallic green. Anyway, I cut this out of the paper and folded it, and then did some stamping in there.
And same here. I went over this flower with some gold metallic paint. More stamping places to journal. And here's the tag. And this one folds out. And these I got from, um, they're stickers from a Tim Holtz um, sticker. I forget the name of it. And this it has a pocket on the back with two tags for journaling. And here's a tag for that one. And this page, I cut out this flower from um, another stack of paper. I think it's called Antiquities. And uh, put you know probably in there, and then I got this online. Downloaded this uh, cool little round journaling tag, and put a brad so it swivels open like that. And this page, I um, cut this out of. The heirloom collection and um, glossy accented it. And made that there for journaling or picture. And used um, my Frisker's corner punch. And that's the tag for that one. And that's the last page. And uh, it's pretty simple. Got these little frames that you can put a picture behind there. And I put some iridescent stuff on this Michael's flower. So that's pretty much it for that one. I hope you like it. And thank you for watching. And thanks for all the inspiration from you gals. See you soon. Bye.